More than 100,000 people in the United States died from drug-related overdoses in 2021. Proper disposal of unused medications can save lives. I'm Carly Kruger, a pharmacist at Salina Regional Health Center. Carly, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to be talking about medication safety. Um, as a pharmacist, when somebody comes in to pick up a prescription, I know a lot of times, especially the first time, you really want to talk to them. Why is that? So one of the things that we try to do for patients, especially the first time we fill a new medication, is provide counseling. And we're going to go through how you're supposed to take the medication, things that you should be looking out for while you're on the medication, like side effects and monitoring, things that might need to be reported to the doctor if you notice those things. We're gonna be talking about the duration of therapy and also what to do with the medication when you're done taking it if it's not a prescription that you are finishing completely. Okay, which takes us to the next step, which is uh, an event you have coming back, which is a drug take back day. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so every year the DEA is actually hosting two different drug take back days, one in the spring, one in the fall. And we like to team up with the um, Staling County Sheriff's Department to host a drug disposal site here at the hospital. So it's located in the Circle Drive of the hospital on April 22nd, and it's gonna be open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m and you can just drive through the circle drive, drop off medications, and it's open to anybody who has unused or expired medications in the community. Okay, I know as well, in case if somebody can't make that event, um, you also have a bin in, in our pharmacy as well, right? Yeah, so there are several places throughout the state where you can dispose of drugs year round, and one of those is our drug take back been in the outpatient pharmacy and that's open to the public anytime that the pharmacy is open. And this is important to know number one is because I think a lot of times people want to either just like throw them, throw them out or flush them down the toilet but that, that's not advised as well right? Yeah so unused medications that are thrown in the trash can actually be picked up and either abused or sold and that can be dangerous because it can lead to overdose or even death of patients and then if medications are flushed down the toilet, they can actually contaminate the water supply and cause harm to the environment. One more time, tell us about the drug take back day so people can mark it on their calendars. Yeah, so drug take back day this spring is April 22nd, which is a Saturday, and it is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's at the Salina Regional site, we'll just be in the circle drive of the hospital. So they can just drive in on their cars and you'll meet them there at the cars, yep, right? Yep, there'll be um, some representatives from the Sheriff's Department that will be there with collection bins for you to drop off unused medications. Okay. Thank you so much for some great information, and thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.